Tonight, a law enforcement official in Center Township is facing charges this evening after already having an extensive criminal history. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik joins us in studio now to explain why this raises concerns of how a Center Township deputy constable got the job in the first place. Michael. Debbie, Deputy Constable Craig Reagans is facing a handful of charges this evening, but most significantly unlawful possession of a firearm after previously being convicted of domestic battery. Now, if that's not enough to raise a few eyebrows, he's had more than a dozen other previous charges. The officer pulled over Craig Reagan's Wednesday afternoon for expired plates. Reagan showed the officer a badge and a Marion County Center Township Constable ID card. According to court documents, the IMPD officer then found Reagan's had a gun he couldn't legally own. There is also federal law which states that individuals with domestic violence misdemeanors cannot use a firearm, cannot possess a firearm even in the course of official duties. A look at Reagan's criminal history reveals more than a dozen other past charges, including criminal recklessness, burglary, and other domestic battery charges. Charges which IU law professor Jody Madeira says are problematic for a law enforcement official according to Indiana Code. Individuals with uh, domestic violence misdemeanor convictions actually cannot be police officers and this includes Marion County. We spoke to Center Township Constable Denise Hatch about how Reagan's got the job as a deputy in the first place. That I was not aware of the long list of charges. You don't do a criminal background check for, for your deputies? Um, my case, <laughs> that's all I have. I don't have any funds. But even a simple search on my case revealed Reagan's lengthy criminal history. Constable Hatch says she didn't know about all of them, but did know about the domestic battery. She defends hiring him. You're coming to me asking me why I gave someone a second chance. I was elected by the people. I'm sure I was elected by a number of felons to give people a second chance. Hatch says she has about 45 other deputies and does not know the extent of any of their criminal histories either. Now Hatch defends this saying it all comes down to a matter of funding, but legal experts I spoke to today say that's not acceptable. We'll continue to follow this and provide any updates. In the studio, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News.